Hi friends. I just wanted to share with you that it's been approximately six, seven weeks, six weeks uh, since I left home. And I wanted to share with you that uh, so far it's been uh, a good journey. So right now I am in Port Ferry and I decided to come here after I had a few events in Melbourne and medical appointments and so on. So that in the first possibly uh, three to four weeks after packing my home, I was still very close to Melbourne. And I guess the reason, friends, is that perhaps I had a certain anxiety that if something went wrong with a van or my health or Sunday, that I could still go easily to, to Melbourne and seek help and assistance. But so far, really, the van is sound and um, she's been maintained thoroughly. But it was possibly more my own personal anxiety of changing my life 180 degrees from being in a home with a large space, two bedroom, garden and all the beautiful things that I told you that I created and now I'm living now in a small space. I guess I've also been able to get through this mindset by thinking that, well, uh, the space is very small, as you can see, but really my connection is with the outdoors, with everything around me. And I guess that has helped me very, very much to change my outlook and also sometimes my feelings and frustration. So I will share with you that I really didn't have expectations. I know for sure that all I wanted was to change my life, to change completely the way I live and possibly the way I work. As I think you may remember from previous videos that my contract was cancelled just like that and I really didn't have any problem getting another contract but I just didn't want to go the merry-go-round of going three days back into the city and work two days from home and the commute etc etc and come back to an empty home so my expectations were very very minimal so many of my friends also ask me uh, what are your plans where are you going what are you doing and i guess that i wanted to stay in victoria once again, for my own perhaps personal anxiety of not being too too far away. <laughs> so I stayed in Victoria and I decided with, with the change of weather that we are having, it is very difficult to say that I am following the sun because that is not true. The weather is very changeable and Victoria the coastline first was St. Leonard's and it was incredibly challenging as I perhaps ch shared with you in other videos. Uh, I went to Warren Diet and the weather was incredibly challenging as well. It was so cold one night, friends, that I think uh, my Duna is not very effective for cold weather. So I slept with double layers of clothing. I have a heater that I left in, in minimal, just in case it dropped. Sunday was so attached to my body uh, in the bed that it was incredible. It also was very wet. So it's been challenging. It hasn't been really, as, because I didn't have expectations. I didn't really know. I would say that I also left my suburban life thinking that I wanted a further connection not only with myself with but also with nature and other people and although I have given myself several business cards and talking to people 
I wouldn't say that I had made a lot of friends, but certainly I I really feel that I had made uh, deep connections with others. Whether or not these people will follow up and call me or email me or become lifetime friends, that's another story. But I can tell you that I have treated everybody around me uh, with respect. I am, don't have any expectations for them to be friendly towards me or for them to open up as much as a South American born woman will do. And so I do respect that not everybody will open up immediately, but I'm sure also they will be there and ah, they are there and they have been there for me if I needed to. The other things, friends, is that I have chosen to stay in paid caravan parks. It is a bit more costly, but also it gives me some reassurance from my inexperience, my inexperience of van life. And once again, it's possible my own personal anxiety. Maybe I am disclosing here or giving you the impression that I do experience anxiety and I guess many of us do. And many of us will also experience anxiety in such conditions when you actually change your life 180 degrees. It's totally a total sudden change. I also will mention that in terms of cost, well, uh, I, I see it this way, friends, that it is cheaper than renting a house in Melbourne with not only the rental, uh, the weekly rental expenses, but internet was, for example, $70 a week. Um, gas, electricity with the prices that we are lately having with this economical, economic crisis, forget about it. So this is the way I see it, that it has to be much cheaper. And so I live very minimal uh, lately with uh, food. I sometimes go to a supermarket, Aldi, I spend, or, or IGA is in, in regional Victoria, $60, $26, I buy prepared meals, that are convenient for me to put in my microwave to heat off. Uh, sometimes I go and buy some extra equipment and things that I need for my bicycle. But let's let's be honest. A lot of the things that I'm also buying are investment in the long-term living uh, arrangements and comfort that I need to create while I live this lifestyle. So I wouldn't say that it has been much more expensive. I know that by staying, uh, so uh, just to continue with that, and please forgive me about losing track of my, my thought, my train of thought. I decided that I wanted to come to Port Ferry that I wanted to be here four weeks and I arrived here nearly two weeks ago and got two more weeks to go. We will leave after Christmas. We'll go into Warrnambool. The reason is that I needed the mental space to be settled, knowing that I am also quite a restless person in nature. And so I needed the time here to be in one place at one time and to be focused in the here and the now to get my head around where are my things because it's quite difficult when you live in a small space and things that I have changed so I you know done some maintenance in the car camper I travel now with a boogie that is outside with some of my belongings and I had needed to go to Warrnambool twice for uh, repairs and maintenance in the camper. I went last week, for example, to purchase a new battery, a new house battery and a battery charger for 
uh, for me to have uh, plenty of electricity as well when I am plugged in to a 240 uh, power in a campsite. And so I, I needed that time for myself to get my head around and have the facilities of having a camp kitchen, camp shower, a secure place for my, my little guy to, to be and safe. And I had met wonderful people. I tell you friends, on Friday, I sent a message with a short video to a family that was here a week before. And the gentleman was very kind to show me how to put my awnings and, and in the direction of the pegs, he, and, and how I should align the ropes in opposite sides, etc., etc. I did send him a video on Friday saying, hey, I did it all on my own. I put the awnings, I put all the ropes, the guy ropes, look how it is. And I and, and this gentleman, his name is Sean, I did say to him, Sean, when the when the pupil's ready, the master appears. And it was really very awesome because it has taken me a while to practice to put my awning and to do it properly and to do all the ropes things. So you see, friends, it does take a while. So as much as I miss possibly friends and uh, the life of the comfort of a large home and all that, I, I think I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well and I wouldn't lie to you. I don't think it has been much more expensive than living in a suburban place. I do miss work. Uh, that's for sure to to have that meaning and purpose and that sort of like routine and and being driven by your work commitments uh, is something that I sometimes feel a, a bit of a loose cannon however I believe that the right job will come at the right time and not pushing it so far so I I have applied for a house sitting gig and I will I have news for you that I have secure a house sitting uh, position in Echuca from early January till the end of January and that will give me a little break from campsite we're going to Echuca to look after a grudel that is 18 months old and this, the family are going to Darwin, of all places, with the heat. They are going to Darwin to visit uh, their children and their house will be in safe ha hands with me. And they have kindly accepted that I'll bring my little guy because otherwise it would have been impossible. So friends, I also uh, wouldn't say that I've been touring around, that I've been visiting every, you know, tourist park and every other attraction, but neither I have deprived myself to go and ride my electric bicycle or my roadie uh, to places. Like yesterday, we um, went on the rail trail from Port Ferry to Warrnambool. Uh, we only did halfway. For ferry to Croyd. I had a lovely lunch in a beautiful Saturday um, afternoon at the Croyd Hotel. There are some links in a previous video and I can put some more links in this video too. I am intending to perhaps go to Portland this week and visit Portland and I leave all my little stuff here in uh, the caravan park where we are in Port Ferry is the gardens caravan park friends and I can tell you that it is an excellent place and the grounds are beautifully maintained the staff is very accommodating and very friendly and um, the facilities are green off the beach is just around the corner and you can hear the sound of the surf early morning when the tide is in so friends really this is the aim that it will be sustainable 
that it will be a longer term leaving arrangement in the Friday Girl, that this is not just a holiday. I certainly wanted to break completely with the past that I had in the little cottage in Blackburn and the memories that I left there behind of my life um, in a partnership that I really wanted it to long to last for a long 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 time uh, but life offers you surprises and changes and it's not what happens to us but it is what we do with what happens to us and how we react and going back to homeostasis so I haven't had really many sad moments. Sometimes I feel a little bit lonely, but I will also tell you that I couldn't do it without the beautiful companionship of my, my beautiful little guy there. That is just the sweetest thing. So friends, I hope this update brings you peace, comfort, knowing that we are doing well that I'm doing the right thing for for ourselves, that we are safe. Um, I'm keeping it very, very low key because obviously it's not an adventure yet <laughs> to go uh, driving in Australia, around Australia to different places. So first I need to get my head around to learn more and to get the right equipment as well for the camper. And then who knows? In the meantime, friend, stay with us, stay connected. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Or please do comment about what, on your questions, what is it that you would like us to, to see and document and that will be lovely for us. Thank you once again, friends, and we look forward to your company once again. Bye for now.